My name is Holly Herndon, and this is Fact TV from UTEC. I like the idea of translating maybe my niche ideas to a wider audience. That's one thing, you know, I'm also um, in the academy, and that's one issue that I see with academic musicians, is it's like this very cloistered off thing of like, I want to have this really niche idea and just share it with this tiny community, and that's not really how I see, you know, art functioning in the world. So I like the idea of taking things to a different audience and, and trying it out and trying to have that conversation. I worked with a, a visual artist named Akihiko Taniguchi. He also recently did a video for me for Chorus. He writes his own software and he creates these custom worlds that you can kind of navigate in real time. And so um, Matt Dryhurst performs the software in real time while I'm performing. And I really wanted something that was responsive to the environment instead of having like a canned video because what I'm doing is live and responding to the audience, so I really wanted the video to be equally as live and responsive. I don't really think about the mundanity so much, but I think about the personal spaces that he kind of zooms into. You know, he goes into bathrooms and the living rooms, and there are all of these perhaps mundane, but also just really private objects that you have around your house. And so, you know, I think about that a lot with the music that I make, um, my personal intimate relationship with my laptop, and. Um, you know, making those interactions then public in front of an audience. So it's kind of a nice intersection. One thing that I've been really interested in lately is kind of opening up who I collaborate with and I've, I've done a lot of pretty diverse projects over the last year and the things that I'm working on for my album that I'm finishing up next month. But with movement it was very like isolated and in my own head and in my studio and this time I'm working with some other people that is has been really gratifying and working with other people who specialize in certain things instead of having to think that I have to do every single thing myself is, is something that I'm learning. It's something that you deal with in more classical composition a lot because you are you know writing a score and then you're communicating that with an ensemble and then you're, there's this back and forth of how do they perform this thing that you've written down and so kind of taking some of those skills that I'm developing in the university setting and shifting that towards electronic production as well. I think anytime you can lower the barrier of entry for people so that more people have access to more tools, I think that's always a good thing. I think, um, I think it's amazing that you can go on YouTube and you can get a tutorial for anything that you want to do. I think access to information is a huge um, issue in our 2014 world and I think that's only a good thing. You know, some people might might say that now there's so much music it's really difficult to, sh to sift through that sea, but um, I just think that that creates a, a more diverse range of, mu of musical possibilities and there will always be people who will, who will be special and will rise to the top and will create new things that you'll be more interested in, but yeah, more access to more tools, that's only a good thing.